Hello, David. Hey, this is Scott at Reindeer Studios. How are you, buddy? Yeah. Hey, I found this really, really old three finger brown card that I want to sell you. Yeah, it's super old. It's from um, way back in 1987. Oh, well, it is 34 years old. All right. Well, I'm looking to get $750. Really? 10 cents? How about $750 and I'll throw in a charcoal drawing? Okay, you have a point. Since I don't have to draw as many fingers, I can knock it down to $75. All right, David, you got a deal, sir. Hey, superstars, welcome back to the quest for my Holy Grail card. This is my series where I'm trying to sell off worthless cards for exorbitant amounts of money so that I can eventually buy my Grail card, a T206 Cy Young portrait. But to make it work, I'm including some original art. David M. reached out asking if I would draw Mordecai Three Finger Brown for him, and I love dead ball and pre-war stuff, so I was more than happy to oblige, even though David's a jerk. What? Where did that come from? I meant to say David's a Cubs fan, and I'm still a little bitter about the Cubs winning the World Series in 2016, but that is no reason to call David a jerk. I mean, David's a stand-up guy. You're not a jerk, David. I'm just gonna shut up now. But if I shut up, then you would have nothing to listen to. I seem to have totally forgotten how to make a video. <laughs> this thing's a train wreck so far. I'm sorry. Um, okay, if you don't know, Three Finger Brown was so named because he mangled his hand in a farming accident as a kid. With that deformed hand, he was able to pitch a good knuckle curve that was really hard to hit. I guess you could kind of say he was like the Jim Abbott of the dead ball era, but maybe not. Both guys overcame handicaps to become really, really good pitchers, but Mordecai used his deformed hand to his advantage while Abbott just didn't have a hand. Hey, it's time for a terrible joke. This one is especially bad. So my son has been into making baseball stadiums in Minecraft. They're really, really neat. The other day he made Wrigley Field and he did an amazing job. It was so realistic that the only seats that I could afford had blocked views. I want to take a second here and let you all know that I'm still not accepting any commissions right now and this grail project is officially closed. I still have plenty to do still, but I've got more than enough to get my Cy Young card. So thank you everybody who supported this project and especially thank you for all of your patience. When I get all this done, hopefully by this summer, then I'll start accepting commissions again. There's Mr. Brown. That was pretty fun for me to draw a guy from 110 years ago. It is amazing that baseball has such a rich history. I love this stuff. And we are getting closer and closer to my Cy Young card. Thanks, David, for asking me to do this one. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. And we'll catch you next time.